Eating candy. I was. Yes, Papa. <laughs> lying. I don't know the part, but lying. No, Papa. You fucking liar. I'm Mama. You lied twice. Mm -hmm. You're going to get lizards and ants in there. What the hell is going on over there? Oh shit, there's something happening over there. You did? This is the first time I can see over this. Look at that. That's the first, there's a canal over there. So I can never see past it. But something happened over there. I don't know, we heard a lot of yelling earlier. Look at my son just standing on the fence like there's no fucking bugs. Damn smoke. Get down. If Lou sees you up there, if he happens to watch my YouTube channel, What is it? I don't know. How big is the truck. canal part? There's two fire trucks. Is it, how big is the canal over there? It's not, it's just grass. It's not that big. Oh. They uh, cut it. What? They let it melt down. So, I saw a creature in the bush over there. In my video. Mm-hmm. Make sure there's no spiders. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, that's not a good view. I guess I'll hold it. Sorry about the smoke. So anyways, I just think that people who are planning on moving here, don't. If you have a record, even the tiniest, slightest little bit of a record, they will find an excuse not to rent to you. If you have had an eviction, whether it be 20 years ago, whether it be two years ago, whether it be five years ago, 10 years ago, they will not rent to you. If you do not make three times the rent, sometimes it's more than that, they will not rent to you. They do not work with you if you're going to be late on your payment on your rent don't think do not think that they're gonna be lenient because nope there's another person in line waiting for your place and they will evict you within three days and that is legal believe me because it happened to me and i worked for the people that's why we're in this mess because my morals i wouldn't steal like they do and so my morals, um, you know, got the better of me and I quit. And unfortunately me doing that has put my family homeless for the last eight months. And we've been here a year. And we moved to Thon to Sasa. And then we moved across the bridge to Canales County. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. Um, and we went all over Canales County. Luckily, I had an amazing job. Um, I 
as amazing as they were, they really did not help me. Um, they help with food and clothing. Sometimes they like to um, hoard the clothing, unfortunately. Um, um, what else? You have to pay for your water, all your utilities. You're lucky if you find a place with all utilities included, and if you do, it's not in a good spot. Um, the schools are really ghetto, and they're behind if you live up north, or if you're from up north, be prepared to be super ahead. Um, if you have to um, live in a shelter, um, We've had to do that. The, um, the Grace House um, is a good place to go, yes, but they are extremely racist against white people. And they will, like, barely let white people in there. There was only my family and a single dad with five kids of white people that was there. And they kept saying, oh, um, the culture, they don't, like, now mind you, I didn't know there was any beef with anybody, but apparently they would complain that I had a man, and their mans weren't there, and the, um, director, I'll just call him TC, um, said it's the culture that did it the culture they're not used to seeing people with their man riding with them his words not mine and I thought that was absolutely ridiculous and they tried everything in their power to get us out and then when they did get us out because some woman kept threatening our kids and everybody else's kids and everybody else's kids would come to us with the problem my fiance went over to the woman and was like you know enough is enough they're kids leave them alone. Anyway, she threatened to shoot us right in front of the cops and in front of um, the shelter director, TC, and their other useless um, case manager, who is legit useless. Like, I gave her everything to try to help her out. Um, I'll just say her initials, HB. And then um, they had a very racist church-going girl named Stephanie Samantha. I don't even know her name. She was irrelevant to everything. She started talking shit the last time, the last day we were there, and I just thought it was funny that she's just a peon, thinking that she was just hard. Jesus was not proud of her that day. Um, oh, and then they said that we vandalized the place. Why on earth, I mean, we, me and my fiance have, we have a record and we have not been the best of people, but these last almost seven and a half years, we have completely changed and vandalism is not our style. I don't understand why on earth they would think that. The only thing I did when I left, I forgot to clean the fridge because I was rushing and I wrote a thank you note and I left the key. Now, also the whole time we were there, the three months we were there, um, the lock was broken. Nobody messed with our stuff until after we left. It was crazy. Here comes Vinny. Anyways, that's just a little bit of a story. Um, hold on, Vinny. Okay, hold on. Alright, I'm gonna end this here because the boys are arguing.